Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Wepia and I film about faith. In today's video, I think it's going to be a very short video. I think I always say this all the time, but then today's video is going to be quite short, right? Um, I said that I was going to do a video about how I usually plan my year or plan my month or plan my day or whatever. And I want to give you guys a little of a background history before... Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> I want to give you guys a bit of some history before I go ahead to show you guys how I plan my day. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of some personal stuff in my journal. But I think that if it's going to help someone out, then why not, right? So first of all, I normally have very little control over my life because I've decided to live a life that's completely sold out to Jesus Christ. So you know me very well, I don't joke about my faith. So a lot of the decisions that I make are based on what God tells me or what is in the word of God. So I'm quite, I'm somewhat of an intentional person if I should put it that way. And God controls my life most of the time. So sometimes I can even make plans for myself and then I have to drop them because of what God tells me or what God says concerning my life. Okay. So um, having said this, this this planning thing all began in 2018 so i'm just going to teach you about journaling your points writing down your points and your plans for the year and how to plan them and program them and i'm so excited because this year i bought a planner <laughs> even though i've not written in the planner yet but then i've written in my journal i'm going to show you the dates from when i started planning and everything so that you guys see that we mean business over here and we are really really interested in food i was going to say something else but i don't remember in the course of the video i will tell you guys you guys i know i said i was going to show you my journal but when i opened this and i saw how personal it was i'm like nah i don't think i'm ready to let the world see this here but then i put out a template that i would want you guys to see um it's quite similar to what's in my journal but then it doesn't have my personal goals for the year so in this case you put your personal goals in it and then yeah so let's get right into the video let me show you how i normally plan my year so what you need to plan your year effectively is a silent or secluded area you don't want noise in your background you just need to be alone so that you can think and think well you need the holy spirit as saying do you really want to plan the year without god <sighs> don't try it it's, it's not the best you need your bible the word of god it is the manual for life you definitely need your bible you also need a journal so that you can write down points you really need to write whatever you think whatever you hear from god so you need a journal you need a highlighter and a pen i'm sure as as at now everybody knows what we use highlighter and pen for and again you need your bible i had to put this here again because a lot of us don't like to read and as much as we don't like to read books at least read your bible read it so that you know so that you know the promises of god concerning your life so that you won't be ignorant read your bible the devil is really knocking christians up and down because we don't want to read our bibles so please read your bible now i'll first of all say that to plan your year effectively you need to develop your relationship with god um I don't even want to go into background history of why you need to develop a relationship with God, but I want to tell you that when you do that, He gives you your purpose. I'm sure a lot of us don't even know what we are supposed to be doing on this earth. I think we have um, sneak peeks into what we want to do. Some of us have some sort of passion here and there, um, a bit of desires here and there, and what we need to do. And, but then we don't know exactly what it's supposed to be, how to go about it, the steps to follow, and whatsoever. So after God has given you the purpose, He gives you the blueprint. A blueprint is more like steps to follow, okay? He teaches you. So maybe God says you have to be a multi-millionaire. But then in God's eyes, you're not supposed to be working in any corporate corporate world to be a multi-millionaire you're supposed to start something and maybe that's something you're supposed to start a share butter making i mean 
God uses the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. So you might think that, oh, share butter. But then you may never know. So, I mean, he gives you the blueprints. He, he can use the most um, lists of things to, um, how do you call it? bring out your destiny and that's what we call blueprints okay and then he puts his desires in our hearts um i say he puts our desires his desires in our hearts in, in accordance to the scripture psalm 37 verse 4 when it says that god gives us the desires of our hearts now when it says that god gives us the desires of our hearts it actually means that god puts his desires in our hearts it doesn't mean that whatever you ask for he will give you no it actually means that whatever you ask for according to his will and he will put his will in our hearts so that we can ask for what is his will i hope you get the point exactly so this is the reason why you need to develop your relationship with god also when you talk to god he will speak trust me god will speak to you so um one advice that i'll have for you is especially for those of you that are not so much uh, mature in the things of the spirit is that when god speaks his word to you please make sure that you search the scriptures to know that it is in line with the scripture because one thing i know about my jesus is that he's not going to see something that is outside his screen outside, outside his word and i'm going to use the millionaire thing because as at now i know that we are more money so if god tells you that you are going to be a millionaire there's no way he's going to tell you that you should still become a millionaire. So, if at any point in your life you think that the millionaire thing is not coming to pass, and so you think you have to start robbing, start frauding people to become a millionaire, just know that, sweetheart, the devil has corrupted your mind. It's not really for God, from God. It, it can't be from God. You can't steal to become a millionaire and say God told you. I mean, how? It cannot. It cannot really do like that. So let god i mean search the scriptures and another way to search the scriptures is google so just google you find scriptures that will come out to help you also search for the promises of god concerning your life um scriptures like you shall be the head and not the tail scriptures like may the lord guide and protect you may he let his face shine upon you i mean those are promises those are prayers that are in the word that you need to know for yourself after you have found these promises of God concerning you, highlight them, write them down in your journal, confess them daily. You really they need. Then I'm going to say that after you have heard from God, it's going to sound like a lot of things. I mean, God's plans are really mega and they're really great. It's going to sound like a lot. So this is my favorite part. <laughs> my very favorite part. Um, segregate your life. I don't know if segregate is the, the right word to use, but partition your life, if I should put it that way. So group your life into your spiritual life, your relationship with others, your health, your personal development, your skin care, um, your family, your career, your education. I mean, all those things. Group them. Then you pick them one by one. So when you pick your spiritual life, what are the goals that you want to achieve with your spiritual life so you want a life that is completely devoted to jesus and this is something that i actually want i put down here for you guys you want more of the word of god you want more prayer you want i mean you want you just want more of jesus so you write all these things down like you want a heart of love i mean those things that you want for your spiritual life you do same for your um personal development and i really want to talk about the personal development because um a lot of us have things that we want to do ex aside the careers that we choose in school so me for instance instance um in the long term i want to be a depression recovery coach as the lord helps me that's like one goal i've shared with you that's in the long term so what are you going to start so that you can actually um get yourself into that field that's if you also want to be a depression recovery coach so number one you get mentors read about it get um read about the courses you might want to take and mind you these some of these goals may not be something that you fully achieve in 2022 but still pen them down okay still pen them down 
um so um you might want to read um books ask people about some books i mean yeah you see there are people that have already gone through what you have gone through, what you are about to go through so just ask questions this life nobody is really arrested for dabbing except exam and it's not really exam so you really for dab then um sermons that you should listen to so you want to be a marriage counselor have you googled the marriage counselors that are around you want to be a motivational speaker have you googled we have people like brian tracy we have people like dr miles monroe that was there before and yeah just find people men and women that align with your purpose yeah then you split your goals after i mean you split them into quarterly goals after you have segregated them like that you split them to like the first quarter second quarter third quarter fourth quarter then you fix them into it so by the end from january to march this is something that i want to achieve these are two under maybe your finances your whatsoever this is what you want to achieve then same for the second quarter and then throughout then you split them into monthly goals so in january this is what i want to do in february this is what i want to do so it makes it more achievable than when you just put it off the top of your mind that this is what i want to do throughout the month of um what's it called um <laughs> throughout the month let me just put it that way then you split them into weekly um goals so your monday your tuesday whatsoever then daily then you have a to-do list for your daily whatsoever yeah you shall get a point right then my final words <laughs> read it i didn't want to read it today, but yeah read it but at the end of the day you're human don't stress give yourself room to not achieve some of the goals doesn't mean that rely on it i mean doesn't mean that stay like that that's if you just give up no but then give yourself don't really kill yourself like that and don't really pack your day make room to breathe make room for social media cut it down but make room for it it's like that it's, it's that easy then i think i'm done thank you for watching and i do really appreciate you guys i'll see you in the next video